Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a video um, from Dr. Umar, you know, speaking on the topic of black pastors. I think he's making a lot of valid points in this video. So throughout the video, I'm going to be making a couple comments. And at the same time, don't take a minute and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me get an algorithm. Here's the video. You can't find a church in America that's at the front line of fighting for better schools, against police brutality, against economic apartheid, against miseducation and mass incarceration. How can you claim to be a servant of the Lord? How can you claim to be a man of God, but you okay with your people living in hell? Black people living in hell. Black people living in hell, catching hell, living in hell, and the pastor who's supposed to be an agent of the Lord is absolutely comfortable with you living in hell. Uh. They say money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. Uh, uh, uh. The love of money is not even the root of all evil. The root of all evil is not having no damn money. When you leave here tonight, are you ducking from rich people? No, you're looking out for Mike, Mike, and Tay Tay because they hungry as shit. <laughs> and they'll take your car, your jewelry, your money. You understand me? Being. Word up. Everybody out here is out for self. And that's so evidence. If you need a little proof, just look at the people in your circle. Look at the people that you see every day. Look at the people that know you. And you'll see they only out for self. Broke. You understand? Really? It's the need for money. That's the devil's work. You understand me? And the black church is not empowering black hey. people to escape poverty. All right, doctor. Mike, doctor, Mike I gotta ask you, right? So, do you believe in religion? Do I believe in religion? Be more specific with that question. Okay, all right. Um, do you. Africans, right? Mm -hmm. Do we have a higher power that we pray to before Christianity came to? Absolutely, but that's not religion, that's spirituality. I believe in spirituality. I don't believe in religion. Let me give you the difference. Teach me, teach me, boss. Spirituality is a personal and community system of trying to comprehend one's relationship with God. Trying to figure out one's purpose on life. What's your thoughts on what he's saying? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd like to know what y'all think about spirituality versus religion in life and trying to achieve God consciousness, which is reunion with your creator. Mm -hmm. That's spirituality. Religion is a system of psychological control and economic exploitation by parasites in the community who simply want to live off other people's money without earning it. <laughs> and so they me. manipulate you into believing that only if you believe in this particular religious narrative, that can't be proven, can't be scientifically validated. Jesus Christ don't have a cemetery. There's no gravestone. Moses has no gravestone. Muhammad Ibn Abdullah have no gravestone. Now, concerning the gravestones, I'm not sure if that would even exist. Um, anyway, you know, those people passed away so, so far away. I'm, you know, maybe the rock blew over. Maybe somebody got the wrong coordinates. Who knows? Noah, Jacob, where is the grave for these religious leaders? I'm not arguing that they don't exist. Oh, yeah, we know that. I could I'm not arguing that. that they don't exist. What I'm saying is your religious beliefs cannot be scientifically verified. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Spirituality doesn't concern itself with religious narrative. In other words, when you look at traditional African spirituality, mm -hmm. even if you look at Chinese, and we gave it to them because we civilized China, East India, we gave it to them, we civilized them. I got a good question. They focus on establishing a relationship with supreme consciousness. They don't focus on, I'm talking about their traditional spiritual systems, mm -hmm. not their modern stuff like mm -hmm. Christian. Mm -hmm. They don't focus on whether or not Jesus Christ was your savior whether or not Muhammad was the last prophet of God, whether or not Moses was sit with the Ten Commandments. You understand me? Mm -hmm. They don't focus on that because that is doctrine and dogma, and doctrine and dogma has nothing to do with building a relationship with God. Let me give you an example. Neither one of you know your mother. 
hypothetically, you don't know your mom. Mm -hmm. You finally found out who your mother was. And I show up and I say, before you can know your mother, I'm going to give you a whole sheet of things you got to believe about your mother. You got to believe this. You got to believe that. And I ask you a question. Believing any of these things I told you are a precondition to building a relationship with your mother. Does any of these beliefs help you build a relationship with your mom? Mm. <laughs> so he's basically saying that the pastors are pushing Bible doctrine on people in order to have a relationship with God, at least in their point of view. What do you think about that? No. no, does it? Mm -mm. No. The relationship is built through what? Direct contact. Yeah. So what is the purpose of dogma? What is the purpose of having people believe Jesus died for your sins? What is the purpose of having people believe Muhammad was the last prophet? And I respect both religions. Don't get me wrong. I was raised in both of them. Control. I'll pray in the masjid. I'll pray in the church. Control. Yeah, control. It's mind control. Whenever a Negro pops up claiming to be sent by God, you know you're dealing yeah. with a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, religion is mind control. Boy, it's mind control. You see it all day, every day. Hey, look at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Man, it's especially over in, you know, Africa. I thought the United States was bad. But to see the dumb stuff they doing just because of what the pastor said and just looking around the city of Chicago, all these super rich pastors, and the neighborhood and the block that the church is on is a mess. But you got hundreds of thousands coming through that door every week. Let's, let's carry on. <laughs> you know you're dealing with a hustle. I, said, I don't give a damn I who it, it is. Control. I don't care when, when how, no, how long ago they lived. No Any black person no who has ever come to the black community claiming to be sent by God was a hustler. And one of the reasons why I have so much respect for people like the Honorable Frederick Douglass and the Honorable Marcus Garvey is because neither one of them sought to exploit the religious weaknesses of black people for personal gain. Garvey is the only leader post-slavery to build a mass movement and he did not have to exploit any religion to do it. Everybody else exploited religion in order to do what? Control the mind of black people, mostly for money. All right. You can't. Well, there you go. There you have it. Dr. Umar's take on religion, spirituality, and a lot of the black pastors. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love to know what you think on this. You know, I can go a little bit deeper, but y'all put some thoughts in the comments. So I'll be sure to respond. Then we'll jump on to part two to this. We got more Dr. Umar going on. All right, y'all have a good day. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Catch you on the next one.